three, two. What? Bucky, no. What? That's not the way it works, Bucky. You're supposed to be behind the camera. What? 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 You're supposed to be behind the camera. But I wanted to tell you a joke. He wants to be part of the show. Go, go ahead. No, I said I want to tell you a joke. T tell me a joke. A joke. Go. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Philip. Philip? Philip. Philip who? Philip, my candy bag. Philip, my candy bag. Episode of Dr. Dread Reviews 1982. Going back to the 80s. Big Hair. Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. Roll em. Roll em. Roll em. Roll that film. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> Patience. Welcome back to this week's episode. Dr. Dread Reviews. And just got done watching Halloween 3. It's a good one. See for the witch. It's a good one. And you know that movie. No, lots of people don't dare watch it. They don't. said it, was, it wasn't it was good. No, it was excellent. You just have to forget anything to do with reality. And you also have to forget the first two Halloween movies. Michael Myers isn't in this one. There is no Michael Myers. And the story is just kind of, okay, so a big Stonehenge rock disappears. There's laser beams. If you're in front of the TV during the big giveaway and you're wearing a mask with a chip of Stonehenge, well, am I giving it away? You is. You is. Let's back up a bit, shall we? Halloween 3, 1982, John Carpenter. Uh, this movie had like three different rewrites. Uh, it was first written by a, uh, a science fiction guy. And uh, he didn't get any screen credit at all for it. And then uh, I believe Tommy Wallace was involved in writing it. And John Carpenter. But the only person who got the screen credit for, for writing the script was uh, Tommy Wallace. Uh, Long-time collaborator. With John Carpenter, you know. Wait a minute, wasn't Tommy Wallace in the first one? Uh, I don't know. I think it's Tom Wallace. But, anyhow, this movie stars... Bucky, I may need your help. This movie stars Tom Atkins. And he plays Dr. Dan, the medicine man. And Dr. Dan is on duty. And Dr. Dan has an ex-wife. Dr. Dan has a couple kids, and apparently Dr. Dan has a drinking problem. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but he does like his booze. Okay, starring opposite Dr. Dan is uh, the character who played Ellie, and her name escapes me, but... It's Stacy Nelkins. That's it. Stace, thank you, Bucky. Stacy Nelkins. And uh, she was in a few other movies. And actually, now she does uh, couples advice. I believe she has a website and uh, a YouTube channel and whatnot. But uh, Stacy Nelkins, uh, she gives relationship advice. She plays Dr. Dan's opposite. And then there is uh, uh, Connell, Connell Cochran. That's right. He's the villain. That's the name of the villain, Connell Cochran. And his real name is... Dan? Dan O'Hurley. I believe it is. Dan O'Hurley. H-E-R-L-I-H-Y. And uh, he's from Ireland. Good old Ireland. Uh, so this movie involves uh, the doctors at the hospital on duty. And 
somebody comes in clutching a silver shamrock mask, mumbling incoherently, and uh, he is murdered in his room, and the murderer slash assassin goes out to the parking lot, gets in the car, gasses himself with gasoline, nice. and, and strikes a match. And then somebody can be heard saying, call an ambulance. Hey, Bucky. Yes, doctor. Call me an ambulance. Yes, doctor. It's an old joke, Bucky. You're supposed to come on, play along. Call me an ambulance. You're an ambulance. You're a big ambulance. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, You're a double-decker ambulance. Okay, good enough. Uh, also about this movie. Uh, you know the pumpkin? You've seen the movie. You yeah? know, the, the blinking pumpkin on the TV screen? Announcing how many more days till Halloween? Well, how many, how many more days? Five more days till Halloween. 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 Right? You know that? The, the reason they chose that tune. Dr. Dredd is really dumb. I should have his show. Uh, the, 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 the reason they chose that tune, London Bridge is Falling Down, is because it's not copyrighted. Bucky, what, what were you saying? Uh, I was saying, uh,. Five more, two more days till Halloween. Okay, okay, Halloween. okay. So, uh... Dr. Dredd is really dumb, really so, dumb. Uh, I should have... Bucky, it. shh, I'm um, filming! Yes, Doctor. Okay, so, uh... Do London Bridge is Falling do Down do was the, the tune they chose. Do and do it took, do like, do a couple of weeks just to do that graphic of the pumpkin back then in the 80s. 82. Dr. Dredd is really dumb, really dumb, Cut really it. dumb. Cut it. Cut try, it. I'm trying to do a movie review here. Okay, Dr. Dredd. Okay, so the implausible part is why a 20-something young girl who is grieving over her father's death would hop in the bed with a 45, 55-ish kind of guy. I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Some things you want to know about this movie is Tom Atkins not only gets the girl, he also gets a cup of coffee while he's touring the plant. Don't believe me? Watch. They're touring the plant where they make the mask, and Tom's walking around with a cup of coffee. They have a cup of coffee right there. See? It's hard to see because it blends in with this shirt. Where Bucky, did it see? come from? Where, where did the coffee come from? That's is why I know really it. really you know, coffee? Tom is the man. Because if you can get a cup of coffee, you're the man. Okay, throw the poster up over here on this side. Yes, Doctor. Okay? Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. I love the graphic of the kids walking... With the, the sun going down. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, looks good, don't it? Yes. Tom was over here with the coffee. Where'd he go? Tom's gone. The His little coffee's little gone. Little Dr. Fred. Okay. Uh, throw that picture up with uh, with Dan, Tom, and Stacy. Yes, they, Doctor. Yes, they, Doctor. Here they are, and they're they're in the factory, touring the factory. Okay. Fun fact. Ready? Ready for a fun fact? Sure, Doctor. Go, go. Marge, Miss Fire Marge, who uh, was in the hotel room next to Dr. Dan and Ellie. Well, you know, a silver shamrock thing fell on the on the ground, and she started poking around. Because it's always good to poke around electronics with with a little poker. Anyhow. Yes, Doctor. Marge, at the time, was married. To Tom Atkins. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What did she think of him and that young girl? I don't know, but right next door, he's fooling around with Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was some serious okay. fooling around. That wasn't serious nice. Serious fooling. Not nice. Okay, uh, the movie had, uh, uh, good special effects. It had bugs and spiders. It had masks. It had Tom drinking coffee. It had Tom drinking beer. Okay, I enjoyed it, even though some parts of the story, like, how do you combine all those things and have somebody get snakes out their head? I don't know. I don't know. But I enjoyed the movie. Bucky, did you enjoy Halloween 3? I did, Doctor. Season of the Witch. I give it a solid one, two, three skulls. One, two, three. It's a good Halloween movie. Uh, it has a lot of good shots. Uh, John Carpenter probably pulls it all together with his directing ability and Tom Atkins with his acting ability. And definitely, definitely Dan O'Harrelly. Hurley. 
Harry. I don't know. Good two. Three, three, three. Solid three. And. That's all, that's all I have for this week. Uh, have a great week. Happy Halloween. And I'll see you next week. Happy Halloween, everyone. Fuck it. Cut that yes, film. Yes, doctor. Cut yes, it. doctor. Cut it. Cut the film. Cut that film. Right. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it.